I think that the best thing that they could do to ensure a, a good future overall for the network and for other people is to invest in education. I think that you have to have educated users to make good virtual worlds or a good real world and if you're not putting in the money to make kids aware of how the world works and just to learn basic skills then you're not going to really get anywhere. So I think that's the biggest priority. My most fervent wish for the future of network technology is that it just serves the people um, to better meet our needs. I think that um, technology is useless unless it helps people because I don't know anyone who wishes that technology advanced in and of itself. It's just really a tool for humans to achieve their needs and I think that there's all different levels of needs and that technology changes. I think that there's people at the bottom of the hierarchy and they just need shelter and security and food and I think technology has helped us helped a lot of people reach that level, but not everyone yet. Um, and then I think as we go along, technology is going to really help us meet our needs to be social and to be with other people, and then finally to self-actualize and really do jobs that really make us um, happy and really do things that we're passionate about that we can contribute with. So I think that's my perfect wish for technology. I don't have that many fears for the technology world. I think that, techno again, technology is a tool that people use, so if people are bad, then they can use technology to do bad things, and technology can amplify people who, have, um, who wish to, I guess, harm other people. Um, but I'm not really scared about any particular development. Maybe, um, you know, I think the more technology we use without much foresight, we can, you know, make bigger problems with global warming and possibly like nuclear proliferation, but I think in general people are good and that we're going to be able to overcome those problems. I think one of the most important technological developments over the horizon is going to be our ability to um, constantly look at the companies that we're buying from and investing in and see what kind of socially responsible decisions they're making. So um, John Smart actually calls this the value cosm. And it's the idea that you're going to be able to um, tell your avatar or somehow program your computer to say, I'm only going to buy milk or soy milk from companies that have this labor policy and that they invest in this kind of socially responsible business. And I think right now people um, invest in companies or um, support companies that um, do or that don't contribute beneficially to the world because they're either too lazy or it's too hard. It's no one, they don't even publish that kind of information. So I think once that information becomes ubiquitous and we have access to it, I think that we'll be able to change the world um, with our money and with our buying power and our investing decisions. I'm really excited about that. Mm, well, I'm actually going to look at people in the developing world who haven't even seen the internet. I think that um, probably the most interesting or the, mo the biggest technological change that's going to happen is when uh, kind of the 3 billion or 4 billion or 5 billion people who don't have access to almost any electronic technology are going to get wireless, satellite, internet, laptop, computers for $100. There's some fascinating companies and uh, nonprofits developing like the $100 laptop project. And I think when those people come online and have access to education, then I think the whole world's going to change. Useful. 